my friends, Ryan here and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and I hope everyone's staying safe, happy and healthy. How is your week? How did you go this week? Did you do, did you race this week? Let me know in the comments below what it is you guys did. If you, if you, if you did a race, you know, it's really exciting now as I mentioned before, everything's opening back up. It's really cool to see that everyone's racing again and, and killing it. And it's just, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's, it's feeling good. You know, events are opening back up. The Stampede in my area, which is the, one of the largest exhibitions in the world, actually opened up back this week. So it's leaving me feeling really good about uh, the Calgary Marathon going forward this year. And it, so, I, and so I'm really excited about that. Um, again, my plan is, is, you know, I'm 70 days out to Calgary and uh, week 27. So again, my plan is to sub two and a half. I was going to do the full and then I decided to pull back a bit this year and, and just do a really good half. And a little, little bit later after I recap the week, I'm going to announce my 2022 full marathon plan because I had a really good discussion with my run coach this week. We sort of sat and figured some things out and I really appreciate her guidance. But let's recap the week first. Let's recap how things went this week and then we'll kind of jump into what the plans are going forward. Um, so pretty decent week. I started off on the Sunday with a, you know, with a 2.76 recovery run into work at about a 6, uh, 19 kilometer pace. So that, that was pretty good. Kind of got the legs, you know, worked out the kinks from the running from the week because you put a lot of pressure on your legs when you're running. So it was, I actually feel that your recovery runs next to the long run are one of the most important runs of the week uh, to do. So that was good. So I got that one done. Took Monday as a rest day, and then Tuesday going in, I did an 8.69 kilometer aerobic run. And I did that as about 6.50 pace, and that was good just to kind of start the run week off. You don't want to start the run week off going too quickly, because if you do, you don't want to get tired right away and then kind of screws up the rest of your week. So I purposely at the start of the week go slower and build towards going faster towards the end of the week with my running. So I did that uh, on uh, Wednesday and then, uh, sorry, Tuesday. Thursday, I did an awesome aerobic run again. I was really feeling strong and I decided to kind of open it up and see if I can hold that pace of about 548 per kilometer. And again, I get, I get it in about another nine kilometer uh, aerobic run on Wednesday and I felt really strong and I, and I talked to him about my run coach about that when we were when we did our check-in on Thursday and I said to her I said you know I, I just felt good I felt like I could sustain it and I was really surprised myself because normally I, I get a little tired and I start pulling back a bit uh, and she said that's great that you felt strong and, and you held it because that's what we want because I'm building that that's my gonna be my run pace for Calgary and she said to me, Ryan, I want you to be able to like run 21 kilometers. Like it's nothing, like you can just, it's a walk in the park. And I really feel like I'm on the right path to do it. And that I'm going to have a really good PR in, in Calgary this year. So I'm super excited about that uh, run on Wednesday because it, it kind of made me feel good. And then uh, Thursday, I did strength and core training at home. So I got in some strength and core training. Now where I'm so struggling, is doing more strength and core. You know, I had, like I mentioned, I had a good discussion with Paul a couple of weeks back about, you know, core training and strength training. We actually connected over the weekend and talked a bit. So thanks again, Paul, for, for connecting with me. And uh, Paul's the, the dev runner, and I'll link his uh, channel below so you can check him out. Uh, he's a certified coach and really inspirational runner. And he's just kind of really, kind of, a, you know, he's a really cool guy to talk to about some things. So it was good to chat with him. And, you know, and I really want to build some more gym days. So I'm really looking at, at you know, right now it's figuring out where, what gym I'm going to go to and make it make sense to me. Uh, I like to have something close to, either to the house or to work so I can do it uh, in the morning coming home or in the evening just before I go. So I, had my, I think I have the, the gym in mind, and you know, so I'll start really honing in on strength. I like to get at least two to three days of strength training in per week. And, and you know, so that would be the plan going forward. So that's where I was still struggling. So that was 
So that was, that was on Thursday, you know, just doing my strength and core. And then Friday, I was feeling it again. I was feeling the gain a little, you know, tired from the week. I'm still struggling a little bit with my sleep. So it was important to get rested for the weekend. And I knew I had a long run to do on Saturday. I also was looking at the weather and, and we're into another heat wave. So rest and relaxation was important on Friday to me. So I felt good for the weekend. And I'm glad I did because uh, Saturday came around and I had a pretty decent 13 kilometer long run. About the same as what I did last week. And I did that at about a 6.30 per kilometer pace, which was great. Then I did on Sunday, I, I did my intervals in the morning and I did six kilometers in intervals, which was, which was awesome. And I did that at a 5.43 per kilometer pace, hitting the fours um, in my interval section, which was great. Um, I felt really strong after that hitting the, that four mark, well, the high fours when I was hitting. So that means I'm on the right track to BQ and, 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 and uh, almost let the cat in the bag, but I'm not quite ready to tell everyone yet what it is I'm doing next year. Um, so that was, that was Sunday morning. And then Sunday uh, evening, I did a 30 minute recovery run into work uh, to end the week. So that was good. So about 40 kilometers total for the week, which is perfect because I, I don't want to ramp my kilometers up too, too much right now. Uh, I want to be fresh going into Calgary. And then once I finish Calgary, I'm really going to start, um, you know, more getting my body used to doing a lot more higher volume of running gradually. I don't want to do it. Uh, I don't want to do it too much too quickly because that's when you can get injured and getting hurt. So there was a pretty decent week. I, I, you know, I, you know, I, I, there's some things I need to work on still, which I'm still working through for myself. But overall, pretty decent. So, future. As again, I mentioned before, I was chatting with my run coach and we had a really good discussion on Thursday and we were talking about, you know, racing plans and, and getting next year's full in. And I'm looking around at some different areas and I you know, was asking her some questions and what she thought. So my run coach uh, plays top 10 Toronto uh, at the Toronto Waterfront Marathon, uh, and she did that in 2019, and that's actually the senior that I ran Toronto. So I was chatting with her, and I said, you know, maybe I, maybe I should look at doing Toronto again next year. And she said, you know, that's a great, great idea, because because in my run group, there's 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 a bunch of individuals who are also doing Toronto. So I, I said to myself, you know. Let's make that the plan. Uh, let's do Toronto next year. I know the course. I've done it once. It'd be awesome to go back and take that five hour and 33 minute uh, marathon I did in 2019 and then, and then, and then hit, hit my boss and qualifier back at the same course. So that's the plan. I'm doing Toronto next year. I'm going to take the entire year to train. I'm going to just, you know, you know, get get my my half down to sub two and then i'll have the entire next this whole next year to, to train for toronto and get to where i need to be go to toronto next year and kill it and that's that's the plan so i'm pretty excited about it um you know it, you know it, it's an awesome race it is it's it, it's a top one and you know and i really will feel good after that so we'll We'll dive into, into that plan. It's gonna be a year long training mission to, to get to where I need to be. In April, I'll do a half again. And you know, tr you know once I get my, my sub two half in, I'll start training really hard to do uh, a 145 to 130 uh, half marathon. And that would be the plan for, for April or May. And then we'll build into Toronto to, to, to get my, my Boston qualifier and they'll, get that qualifier and it'll run Boston in 2023. So that would be the plan. So that's, that's it. That's when, that's my run week. It was a good week all around. I feel really strong and you know, we're, we're week 27 is coming gone and we're into week 28 now and bring on the week. It's a pullback week for me this coming week. So the kilometers will, will be ramped down this week, doing a couple more strength and core training. Uh, got some fartlek runs coming in this week and then we're gonna hit it 
and go forward to Calgary. So it's onward and upward from here. It's exciting. Uh, events are opening back up. The, the Calgary Stampede just started going again. So it's really leaving me feeling good that we're actually going to be running the, the full and half marathons this year. So awesome. Hope everyone has a good week ahead. Get outside, do something for yourself. Crush those goals. And we'll catch you everyone next time on the blog.